Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Every Room is a Different Pack Challenge. I realize I keep saying episode, installment, I don't know what to call them. It's another one of whatever it is. Uh, so th for this one, I can't even remember what I got. We're gonna have to see in a minute. I, I literally don't remember. It's been way too long, but clearly there was no windows or floors or wallpaper I feel like it was kitchen because I remember putting one of those wall block cutting boards but I don't remember I do remember that I was just trying to keep it very in keeping you know this is a boy bathroom the teenager probably has been in this room for a long time so I imagine he it's gonna look a little bit more masculine I kind of like that tile I know it's ugly but like I still appreciate it I think I just go with like white or gray. Pretty basic. After all the other rooms, I kind of just didn't want to go crazy in here. I love those tiles. Love them. It's me going back to the floor because now I love the walls and I refuse to let them go. Sometimes it's hard to get a good floor that matches well. I might go with that. I think I do. It's like a concrete. Alright. Yeah, I got cool kitchen. Cool kitchen for a bathroom. Because why not? Thankfully there's at least countertops and deco, so I can go with that. And some neat lights. Like, I wouldn't say that those were automatically kitchen lights. This is me just kind of grabbing whatever deco I could that didn't look like it belonged in a kitchen. I actually like these wooden blocks. They're interesting. Like, I would love it in a kitchen, but they're interesting really kind of anywhere. It was really hard to cycle through the deco here just because it was so kitchen specific. So it's a bit of a struggle. We'll pretend that it wasn't. But we, we got countertops, okay? We at least had countertops. I do like how bright that pack was. It's just for a bathroom, not exactly ideal. Let's me try and decide what to do with that. I do keep it, but I don't remember where I put it. I don't think it stays there. Yeah, this is me going, uh, what next? Good old trusty base game. I can't say this enough that I do really appreciate the content that Sims 4 comes with just with the game. Just because I played Sims 4 or Sims 2 for a number of years and absolutely loathed Sims 3 with like a fiery passion of doom. So I can appreciate Sims 4 having decent content. Which is funny because most people are like, wouldn't you? Of all the packs, why don't you love Sims 3? Or not packs, jeez. Can't talk today. Of all the games, because Sims 3, of course, has the most comprehensive kind of animals in all the whole series. Because there's horses, there's small animals, you can go out and catch them. And I love that part of it. It's just, I hate the way that the game looks so much, even with custom content, that I just can't. I can't. I can't get over the pudding. Can't do it. So... I do not play it. That's the only series that I haven't bought all of the expansion packs right up until the Star Wars pack came out. It's possible the Star Wars pack will break me because I am a Star Wars fan and apparently now you can stack windows. Like, I didn't really want to buy it because it just doesn't have a place in my Sims game. Not that I hate it, it just doesn't really apply and I don't think that there's a lot of replayability there. But I might do it for the windows. We'll see. I'll wait till it goes on sale or something. Because <laughs> I would love to stack windows, and I really hate that they attach it to a pack like the Star Wars pack. It's possible that they'll release a patch and just let you have that without buying the pack. I'm hopeful. I feel like if enough people complain about that feature, we might get it. So yeah, this is just me kind of popping in. 
a tub. I think I do go with the bright teal, but I don't remember. Maybe I don't. I should have if I didn't. I did. Good. Good. Love that for us. And this bathroom doesn't perfectly go with the rest of the house, but it's, again, I can't see the boys really being heavy on the themes, and it's the parents who are the ones who are really in travel and all that. So it makes sense that the kids' rooms are not necessarily, oh, here's the cool stuff we bought in Sulani, here's here's this, here's that, you know, it's, it's what the kids want, which is nice, like, we love a good supportive parent. trying to think of what else to do in this bathroom like I, w I was struggling here like my stroke of genius was the romantic garden and the bedroom and then poof gone I did want to add a mirror I hated everything about the mirrors as per usual also I'm pretty sure that's a kitchen sink that I put in there and I didn't realize that till just now so that's going on the list of things that I need to fix it's just a bunch of like little fiddly things I wasn't super paying attention to I hate the mirrors in this game. Hate them. Why do they gotta be so hateful? Like, why? Why aren't they adjustable? Why you gotta play me like that, EA? Sorry, I keep shifting in my chair. I can't get comfortable. Oh, it's me being weird with the camera. Oh, I got like a pokey thing in my shirt. Honestly, I don't remember a lot of decorating this bathroom. Because it's a bathroom, at the end of the day, like, you go pretty quick. I honestly thought about not recording at all, but then it bothered me to not post all of them. I could have combined it with something else, but eh. Especially because I know I did another bathroom. No, we're doing them all separately because I'm OCD and it will really bother me not to. We're almost done though, which I'm surprised that I don't know what I'm gonna do next in terms of challenges. I know I did the, um, after this I'm gonna be posting the Every Room is a Different Color challenge, but let me know what else you guys would like to see me try, especially when it comes to building and decorating. I really do enjoy that. Um, I definitely would like to give some things a try in Sims 2 as well. I just I have a lot more fun decorating in Sims 4 because it's not quite so cheat heavy and I don't have to use a lot of OMSPs and everything. I can just directly put things on counters. But yeah, I, I definitely would love to hear your thoughts, kind of your opinions. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that is one very upset kitten with a cone banging his head on the wall. I've been trying to keep him from jumping in his cat post, but yeah, it doesn't work out so well. He's just a very, very active little cat, and so it's the first day I had to crate him. But I can't keep him in the crate all the time, there's just no. First he would scream at me, second that's mean. I know he just got surgery and I'm watching him and making sure he's okay, but it's not like he has stitches or anything. Mostly he just sleeps and tries to groom himself through the cone, <laughs> which is kind of entertaining. But I'm glad he's where he needs to be in life. So that's the thing that really worried me is that because there are stray cats in my neighborhood and that I was worried one would like go into heat and then he would try to escape the house and I would have a sad time. That's I mean, obviously, it's just good to fix your pets anyways, but that was my concern. Now, once he's done getting his final shots, I have to take that cat to the vet, so I'm really working on getting him to lose some more weight, because I, I don't want to go to the vet with him at the weight that he is. Because they will judge me. Which, comparing him to where he was a year ago, like, he has definitely lost a lot of weight. It's just... He hasn't lost enough. Plus, I hate taking him to the vet because he screams in the car all the time. He just screams he hates car rides. I guess I probably should be talking about the decoration, but 
honestly, it's a bathroom. I'm looking for bottles and toiletries and things like that. Like, it's not super fancy. I was struggling with getting everything to place nicely, though. That is one thing. I The slots are not always intuitive. I wish you could, like, tab and they would go to a different one. But I'm not going to complain. We've got them and that's... I will take it. Just making sure that the toilet paper roll is in a good spot. Definitely wanted to put some towels in there as well. Just makes it feel more real. These are a lot of details that I do miss in Sims 2. Because I've downloaded a lot of the custom content, but I just don't think about it because I was so used to not having it forever. I don't think I end up going with that towel, though. Maybe. So I should, probably should do the voiceovers right after I do the recording, but I'm just like, <gasps> how about I record? cord for eight hours and then two weeks later go take a look at it i don't know if it's been two weeks but it's been a hot minute i record a lot which is probably why i post a lot and i'm sure that that's like not the thing to do on youtube i notice most people only post like one or two videos a week and then you have me three videos a day but i just like to share my game i really enjoy it it's a lot of fun for me it doesn't take a lot of time for me to record, and why not, you know? Especially because, again, they don't take me that long. Like, the sim build videos, 20 minutes or so, so I can probably record 10 videos a day if I really want to. And so that's why, and then I had them scheduled out, like, way far out, like, end of October. And I'm like, alright, I'm just going to start posting these, because... I'm asking questions and I'm asking you know, to people to get involved and then I'm just barreling through. Alright, I actually think that we're just about done here, so thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it for subscribing and commenting and all that good stuff, and I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next one.